This one is called Jenny, Jenny's Baby Brother uh, by Peter Smith and Bob Graham. And it was published by William Collins. Okay. Jenny had a baby brother and she didn't like him much. He was round and dimpled and lolled around the floor most of the time. He was all right if you just wanted something soft to prod or cuddle, but he wasn't much fun. He was good at gurgling and sleeping and making messes when he had his dinner, but there wasn't much you could really do with him. When um, he's go, uh, when is he going to school to be old enough to play with? Jenny asked her mother. But her mother just poked another spoonful of porridge into her brother's mouth and said, I think he's lovely just as he is. So Jenny played around on her own, swinging from the tree, skipping up to 200, and throwing the ball against the wall, baby brother watched her from his frilly pink cradle, and Jenny poked out her tongue at him, and he smiled and blew bubbles of spit. He sh she showed off to him, even though he didn't know what was going on. She did handstands and cartwheels and raced up to where he lay, snoozing to wake him with an ugly faces and loud shrieks. She um, brought her school friends around and they all thought he was gorgeous, so she didn't bring them around again. I wish he could stay like this forever, said her dad, and Jenny scowled into her peaches and ice cream. Her brother was covered in food and he didn't seem to be getting any better. Then one magic tea time, Jenny's brother did something interesting. He was sitting at the table opposite her and suddenly he picked up his spoon, which was filled with runny custard. He looked across the table, paused, and then flicked the loaded spoon straight into Jenny's eye. Wah! She said, but really, she thought it was a terrific shot. Do you see? He got her right in the eye. A week later, she came home from school and passed Pete in the hall. He put uh, out a chubby foot and tripped her up. Well done, Pete, she said, dabbing at a bleeding lip. See how she fell? Suddenly, her fat little brother didn't seem to be lolling about so much. He started to follow her around, and she had to shut the door of her room to keep him out. She found him in the garden one day, and he was trying to throw the ball against the wall. She showed him how to do it. She try, he tried to do a somersault and hurt himself, so she patted his plump cheeks until he gurgled again. She brought her friends around and felt a bit proud when they said he was gorgeous. You see how she's starting to like him? When she played in the garden, her br baby brother tried to join in and sh in his clumsy, bumbling way, and she didn't mind any longer. She was getting to be more fun. He was getting to be more fun every day. He even did some things that she wasn't allowed to do, like ripping up the flowers and digging holes in the lawn. <laughs> One day, her mom said, aren't you going to play with your friends today? No, replied Jenny. I'm going to play in the garden with my baby brother. And she rolled him all the way down the lawn. <laughs> See him tumbling down? 
on. And woo! They they got in the wagon and rode down the hill. The end.